Hello YouTube, this is Cole with Meet the Bible. Go ahead and hit the like button right now and the subscribe and the bell. Um, now more than ever, we need to hear the word. Now more than ever, we uh, uh, this is the new now. It's a pretty rough place out there. Um, gosh, yeah, support me. Will you please hit me hit me a sub, hit me a hit me a like and comment and share. I'm out some this field here. It's a pretty nice day. It's just a little cloudy. Um, I want to I want to talk about a, a response. I, I want to do these response. These uh, from because uh, I'm doing all these YouTubes. I'm getting uh, mail. Getting uh, you know people are talking to me and disagreeing. And Lord, I encourage you to disagree. I welcome I welcome you to biblically sub support your point. And come on, this is an open dialogue. I say it all the time. No one died to make me the expert of the Bible. It, it, it's, it's not it. I, ha, I think I have a good feeling. I have a good idea how it works. And I teach these videos. That's what I do. If I'm wrong, you know, who knows? You know, maybe Buddha is God. And, and we're, we're all wrong. But I believe in the God and the Bible. I believe the Bible says X, Y, and Z. And I come here and teach it on this platform. I get a lot of attaboys. Um, and I... <laughs> And I guess some people are not so thrilled with what I say. But, you know, YouTube's a tough place. You know, you can't be thin-skinned here. Anyways, I'm like a minute 40 into... I haven't even talked about it yet. Uh, Michael Oud, O-U-D. Uh, I'll put a link. I'll link him below his website. His, uh, I forget how many... He's got a lot of subs. I don't think he's got a single video, but he's got a lot of subs. I believe. Um, go check him out. Michael says, says to me, meet the Bible. Uh, okay, I made a video on no hell or something to do. Or that was a byproduct of what I said or something. I don't know. The Bible says don't eat pig. And the Bible says, doesn't say there's a hell to me. It says there's a prison, a place of incarceration, an holding area. Okay, much more fitted. Uh, in the end, hell, prison, is cast into the lake of fire and destroyed. Everybody who will... All the spirit bodies who will exist from that point after will be all team, team Jesus. Okay. And I haven't read this for a couple of days, but anyways, says, I do believe in a punishment that is eternal because Jesus alluded to it many times. Please see Isaiah 66, 24 through 22. Second Thessalonians 1. 5 through 10, Jude 7, Jude 13. These all speak of eternal fires of punishment. Hell itself, as it, as it now exists, will be thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 14, I believe. No, 20 and 14. But those who reject Christ will not be separated from God. They will be forever in torment in the lake of fire. Yeah, Revelation 14, 9, 11. Therefore, correction, there is much for us to ponder and hard for us to imagine a grave punishment like an eternal one. But we have to remember that it's not our standard that will that the will of God is completed. Many blessings to you, brother. Keep on posting God's will. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. You know... That, I, t I disagree with people on YouTube, but as long as we're nice about it and friendly, you know, why not? The, the ones that are heated, and in the next couple of days I'm going to read one or two that are, you know, somebody needs a nap, okay? You know, it's, gosh, it's a complicated book, and we have these opinions, and I, I have mine. Um, the only minister that I've ever met that has all of this correct is me. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's arrogant. No, because if I if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't be teaching it. And if I if you can tell me and prove to me otherwise, I'm wrong. I'll dang sure come back on and say I'm wrong. It's not like I'm going viral on, <laughs> on any of these videos, anyways. Here's the problem with this, and I, I mentioned this before. And, and trying to get I'm trying to keep these videos short so people actually go. All the way through them. Well, let me read my comment. 
Michael, I, I, one, I, I think I took one of those verses. Michael Ood, I hope I'm saying that right. 2 Thessalonians 1, 5 through 9, who shall be punished with everlasting, sting, everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Bunch of dots. Uh, destroyed forever is the way I see it. Separated from God, not a place where I would want to be, but I don't see suffering forever. Just the way, just the way I see it, Michael Cole. Um, God is omni beloving. You know, He's Lord. I've said this several times. He He's just loves. You know, He's a, he love, kind, compassionate, forgiving. I don't see Him boiling in people in lava for eternity. Here's the thing. We're separated from the goats on our right and sheep. No, sheep are on our right and goats are on our left. Okay, and God. God's standing here. God, take just a minute. God's standing here. It's all done. This is forever and ever, you know, years from now and we're in heaven, which I think is here on earth. And God's standing here and he's looking at us to his right and he's waving it off. And we're sitting by the, at the, by the pool with a drink with an umbrella in it and we're just chilling out we wave hey god and he smiles and waves back at us now imagine this a minority of his creation high fives or whatever we're, we're all singing come by ya life is just wonderful to his left is the goats now we don't know them right remember we don't know who's didn't make it they're removed from our memory but he does so he, this he's looking on billions of his creation boiling in lava and screaming and suffering and he he just looked at us and waved and now he's looking at them and serves you right you know you didn't believe in me and you're just that's the way it's going to be forever and ever and ever that's a pretty wicked god is it not isn't that a sadistic god who would do that it just makes no sense. We can take a verse or two out of context. But my friend here, Michael, he he's... <laughs> I see this all the time. Too. He's you. I'm not laughing at you, Mike. He's using this verse, in this case, one, uh, 2 Thessalonians 1, 5, 10, to illustrate his point on punishment being eternal. Punishment like eternal one. But... And I'll put John 3.16. Perish. Okay? Look at John 3.16. If we believe in if we believe in the God of the Bible, we believe in Jesus, our soul will not perish. Well, the opposite is that we soul will perish. Not over here boiling in lava for eternity. That's just not what I said. And I know I, I, this is a sensitive subject for some reason. I don't understand it. Never have. People want to think we're special and we're gonna we're just special. And if you don't believe this God, you're gonna turn and burn and suffer forever. It's your choice. Well, you know, I, I choose not to burn. No, you can't choose not to burn. You have to choose to believe a God that we cannot manifest. We cannot demonstrate. God, yes, I believe in the God of the Bible. Absolutely, positively, I believe in Jesus. But I can't demonstrate him. Okay, I, 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 and he is so powerful. He could certainly he snap his finger and prove that he exists. There's a reason he wants to be, you know, secret here. Again, my Peter, my, my Peter, my friend Peter, uh, he's an Indian, and uh, you know, lots of gods. And Peter, you got heaven and hell, yes. Okay, good, good. What is, where is hell? Peter says, not heaven. <laughs> Done deal. I mean, that's. Far better than telling somebody, my God's going to boil you in lava. You're not going to be in heaven. You're going to be separated from God for eternity. But you're not over here boiling in this lava. That's just crap. Um, going on 10 minutes. Like, subscribe, share. And Miss Sonia says hit the bell button. Team Jesus, God bless. Bye.